I was just going and grabbing these nibs. It was so much easier than trying to, you know, go to Hobby Lobby. Because you know how expensive that can be. So I had a feeling I needed to go to Rolling Hills. And I found some uh, art supplies. So that was pretty cool. Because those are things I could use for my students. It was really noisy. There were a lot of people there that day. And they had the music going. And there's actually somebody there playing the piano. Because they had a piano for sale. So it was kind of fun. So I picked up some really cool stuff. Like this uh, really weird uh, turkey. <laughs> with the uh he's kind of handcrafted so you can see him in the background oh it got me some pencils that are prismacolor pencils which are good but they're the glittery kind or whatever kind of i don't know shiny kind but anyway yeah the turkey too funny and then i picked up a bag of santas that were really kind of hard to see but i thought they were kind of cute so i thought i'd give them a ride my dog is barking stop barking sassy dash no barking dash so I um, played with this. Anyway, so I'm kind of getting this midstream because I thought I was videoing earlier and it wasn't working. Anyway, I grabbed that back because that one Santa head, I really like that ornament in there. Um, I know that that is an older ornament. I think it was made by House of Hatton. So I wanted to get that. So this was a cool bag of ornaments that were glass. But the weird colors. So I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so I dig around. This is the bin that has the art supplies in it. And I'm just kind of getting some ideas, but a lot of fun stuff. And there's some soft pastels. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try those out. You can get those a ride. Yeah, I like to let in my car and just kind of carry things around because you know if you leave it, somebody else will pick it up. At least give you a chance to think about it, right? And uh, so just I know. I think I had my camera at a weird angle, so when I had to fix it, it's, everything looks really weird now. Sorry about that. Yeah, just a lot of somebody really went through their craft stuff and got rid of a lot of stuff. I, normally, I like pom poms because I use them on my clowns, but I have plenty of pom poms, so I didn't get the bag of pom poms this time. And the glitter stuff. Yeah, didn't need it. Uh, yeah, weird stuff. Just lots of weird stuff. I guess that's a bottle cork that thing with a cork maybe for a wine bottle i like to grab that paper that shredded paper every chance i get uh, but i have a big bag of it now and i just kind of mix it all in to put in packages mostly at christmas when i'm shipping stuff i think it looks cuter to have it all packaged cutely like that with the shredded paper uh you know i looked at this this program but i think it's so outdated that you probably can't download it anymore on a new you know like my computer so this is the uh, Christmas Isle and I just went back and forth on these little Midwest Santas there's a set of three except I kind of drove by them a couple of times finally went back and picked them up this one's missing its tree I think I like a little tree on it or something yeah, that I've I actually had those that I had that I decorated with um, in my own home. They're my little collection, and I sold them years ago because they just wouldn't fit with my style. So I said I'd put that one back that was broken, give these guys a ride. Just put some really cute stuff out. So, oh, just sitting there. Ah, oh, they look so cute with my Halloween decorations, but I have so many Halloween decorations. I got to be, you know, get rid of some of the ones I have. I still haven't put up for sale. Uh, yeah, more goodies. Just more weird goodie bags. I don't use tea can I have a whole bunch of tea candles, but I don't use them anymore. I use the battery-operated kind. It's just much more convenient. But I do have a lot of candles I need to do something with. Uh, this was a really interesting... I guess somebody painted it black. I thought it was funny that it was over in the Halloween stuff, because it really would make a great Halloween decoration, which is why I picked it up. So I'm going to give it a ride. Oh, yeah, the little bear is so cute, but just not my thing. And another turkey. This is just another crazy turkey. So check out some of these prices. If I... See, our, the prices are just great. There's like 75 cents. It's, it's why now my dog is growling. See, it says see, but growling at Dash. 
Anyway, the, uh, yeah, you can see how this is coming. And that was like only a dollar or something, right? And I'm, just, I'm being picky about it. And the, that turkey is just can't quite figure out what to do. Decided I'd give it back. Let somebody else enjoy it. So I think these are the 12 days of Christmas plates. Um, and I, I just don't need something to, I guess. It was like a goose, but I don't know what they are. I didn't investigate them any more than that because I don't need them. And I thought that was a very pretty ornament. It's a Jim Shore, but I, I didn't need it for me. And I'm kind of avoiding buying things to resell right now because I have plenty of stuff I haven't listed. So why am I buying stuff to resell? And, I, you know, someone else deserves to get a good deal, right? Uh, it's so funny because I go back and look at this later going, wait, what was that? Uh, Arts and Crafts. Lots of arts and crafts. I thought that guy was so cute, but he was kind of chipped up. You know, it's that, that glaze that just chips so easily. I think it just falls off the ceramic. So I decided I don't need him anyway. He doesn't really, I don't have a lot of shiny stuff. Most of my stuff is still, oh, I just real quick, that black pumpkin. I kind of liked it for a while, but I didn't get it. Uh, that little pumpkin dish, it's so cool. That's, um... I thought it was so cute, but once again, I'm trying to avoid fragile stuff because I put it up in the attic, and I love that big bowl, but the bowl, sadly, was chipped. Yeah, so once you start saying, I don't want to do fragile stuff anymore, uh, it gets really hard. All right, this owl was hilarious. I actually liked the crow a lot, but he was all broken up. So I love the little goodie box here with that doll. It's so sweet, that little angel, her little face. I just carried that around a while and ended up putting it back. And then I put these guys back as well because I just felt like somebody would may enjoy all three of them and not mind that the one was broken. And so I gave them, put them back, let somebody else enjoy them. Uh, trees for decorating. I used to pick those up for my mother-in-law because she has a pretty extensive uh, village. But now she's got so much stuff I don't add to it anymore. Uh, just Santa's. Just some Santa's. I'm not a real good, I just haven't hit up on a really good stuff lately, like, that I'm really excited about. I do like, kind of like those boots, but I don't need the boots. Nope, don't need them. Mm, yeah, I seen that that was a music box. I think it was. I don't know. What the story? I think I was trying to see if it was a music box. Maybe it just it wasn't working. Oh, uh, more Halloween and Halloween and Halloween. Let's see. Yeah, I like that. See, I like that. It's a little bit high. That's why I didn't get it. Yeah, it's kind of pricey. <laughs> yep, that was, uh, yeah, I just want to spend that money on it. Weird. I get cheap sometimes. I, uh, toys were horrible that day. There was just nothing in the toys. I'm telling you, I, I'm this, I am doing this a little bit later. Uh, you know, going doing the voiceover and all. And I have just not found things lately and I just kind of had this one on the this video on the back burner I was like okay I, I guess I'll do something because I've been able to post anything so I've run into a few stores without a video going but I'm serious I have not found a lot of good stuff anymore and this is a, like a horseman which can be pretty collectible but I so I'm giving it a ride or giving it some thinking about it maybe look it up these bicycles are still here. I think they're just priced too high and nobody really wanted them in those conditions. So they're still hanging around. Okay, so my computer froze up on me. So there I am. Hopefully that will stay. I don't know if that's gonna work. It's gonna probably fall. But anyway, I got some um, Prismacolors, which is a really good brand of pencil. It's uh, an artist brand and so it's, they've got glitter. Who doesn't love glitter? I've got girls in my, um, class so they like the glitter some do i want to and just a pen to write a little book to write in just kind of somebody's torn some pages out looks like they started but they didn't finish writing their not their life story ah what's this is oh oh yeah so i did get this little mug and I haven't looked it up, but it's natural life. It's just so sweet. Look at that. I mean, that is just a cutie. Just a little hedgehog. And I really like it. Let me hold him still for a minute. Isn't he adorable? Such a cutie. 
I'm gonna look him up. Maybe sell him, probably keep him. I don't know. It's not like me to have a hedgehog for a, you know, comic cup. Can't even talk right now. All right, so this has some writing on it, but I'm not worried. I think I'm gonna paint it. But not cool looking that little scroll work. So that's great for a Santa. Good scored for Santa today. And yeah, put the put the bears on it. Now this I did get this cup because I my gosh that cup weighs a ton. I can't imagine when it's got coffee in it. It's gonna it's just gonna be my morning workout. Ugh. Yeah. So who tries on mugs? I've been shopping, you know, looking at mugs for a while. I'll go and roll the hills and check out the mugs and see what cool things showed up. And I think this is just maybe from Walmart because it's Better Home, so it's not like a great brand. But I would never have picked it up at Walmart. So I thought, hey, why not uh, take a look at it and see if I liked it. So I picked it up. I had picked up like three or four holding them. I picked this up and I was standing here. And then this guy came up to put some stuff out and I was still standing there holding my cup. And I said, I'm trying on my cup to see how like it fits. And it fits nicely. So I got it. It's best for me. Okay. Lots of art supplies. So. Yeah. So I had all this stuff that I ended up putting back because I picked up so much stuff. I was like, okay, got to put some stuff back. Got to be nice about it. But I did end up with this bag, this entire bag of Santa because of one ornament. He better not be messed up. His face is facing in so I couldn't see it. I hope he's not messed up. I actually have one like this. I just know it. I just know about it. It's an old house of Hatton. And he probably doesn't have a tag on him anyway. But oh my gosh, he's so cool there. Oh, he is in good shape. So yeah, it doesn't have his tag though. This does not have a tag. I can't imagine that they didn't have a tag. I think people always cut them off because, you know, it's glue on him. But anyway, that's his face. I just love this ornament. I don't want to kind of make it. I think I want to make a thing like a doll and use that for the head. I think it'd be cool and really nice. I think it'd look cool, but it'd look pretty, actually. All right, so in this bag, there's some things I didn't really couldn't see, but they look kind of cute. This looks really homemade. Anyway, I just didn't need a head did. I got a little bit of stuff in the back. We got Mrs. Claus and we got the Santa. Yes, it is Santa and Mrs. Claus. This is one of my big pet peeves that people call this like Mrs. Santa because Santa is like Saint. It's not his first name or I mean, why do they call this Miss Santa? This is Mrs. Claus is one thing, but I haven't referred to as Mrs. Santa. It's not. It's, anyway, I think these are Made. There's no tags or anything, and they look pretty kitsy looking anyway. They look like a kit, actually. That's what they look like. So they're cute. Yeah, I'll probably sell them on eBay because I don't need them. They probably, this guy was kind of cool. Now, I, he looks really familiar. Like, I don't know. If he, he doesn't have tags, though. It looks a little homemade. He's got a cute face. If you can find it. Oh my gosh, he's got an adorable little face. Look at that. Can you see this? Can, you, can we focus on it? Oh, a little bit. There it is. Oh, I like him. I like him a lot better now that I can see him. He's hidden away in here. Ah, uh, this is a big old heavy thing. Oh, he is heavy. No one that. So this was a Santa, but I think he's. Oh no, it's an elf, isn't it? This is probably an elf. If it's Santa, he lost his beard. No, it's an elf. He's got the elf ear. You see his ears? I don't know what his story is, but he's somewhat kind of made looking. Like I said, no tags. I think somebody made these cuties. That, that may have been like a kit, though. All right, so hope I can find a home for this guy because, yeah, this is so not the kind of Santa's I put out, but you know what he is. He's the one that rings the bell and walks. Maybe he's working. Oh, he's so ugly. Oh, bless his little heart. He's so ugly. He's cute, right? That, that's what we say. Oh, it's, okay, so I have my air off so it won't make noise. I'm about to burn up now. So excited about all my goodies. Oh, this is sort of pretty. No, the berries are missing. Or does it have berries? Oh, yeah. That's kind of cool looking. I could maybe use that. So it can, one, two. And then a big old plastic one, which um, kind of fun to have the plastic ones. If you've got, they have the really good, uh, really pointy um, holly berries. So what you can do is, I don't have a good Santa to show you on. I have a bunch of Santas. You could, I could literally shove through here and they would fit. Like that would be their base. But I like my Santa shoes, so I doubt I'll be doing that. But I have a couple of light, of um, lanterns, lamps, glass lamps. Oh, lost a leaf. 
I don't know. I'll do something with that. Probably. Okay, so the ink. Here's the story with the ink. Long story short. Yes, I have a student, and we've been painting with ink. And he was so frustrated. God love him. He just got so mad. Because, it, I mean, he is one of these. He's very good. He's a very good little artist. And that's why he's in the gifted program. But he wants everything to be perfect. And that is really, really hard. So, I have a lot of... I have a lot of nibs, but I don't have a lot of quills. And I hate to bring my stuff. I hate I always use this. Is one. I do not have the... You see that one? Let me use my hand. Y'all see that one? It's a letter for lettering. It's dirty, but I can, I need to clean it. Because sometimes you just need some sandpaper. It's a good. It's a brass. It's a really good nib. Maybe I'll fix it. And that would be nice. Um, I don't have much faith in the ink being here. Because ink will dry up. There's like no ink in here. No, completely dry. I don't know why they do that. They don't, they don't pay attention. Now, I was just going and grabbing these nibs. It was so much easier than trying to, you know, go to Hobby Lobby. Because you know how expensive that can be. Yeah. You go in. Oh, it's a good nib, man. These are great nibs, actually. These are, these are more for lettering, which is why there's a book in here on how to letter. But I have some just for drawing, and I can always swap out. This one's kind of nasty. It's kind of broken up. I don't know. I've got I've got cleaner in my studio. Yeah, so these are all for lettering, but I need the I need the pens. And then here's some ink. Oh, I hear liquid. So I think I've got the black. Yeah, and then this I think is empty as it can be. Sepia. There's like absolutely nothing in here. I don't think anybody just saves ink bottles, but it does have black, and we need black. So I said, I'll bring my pens to school and you can, you know, use my, I'll let you use my pens to draw with ink. Because I think he really, really wants to do the ink. It's just frustrating when he was trying to do the washes because he didn't have the control with the brush that he wanted. No, we're going to work on it. That's what I'm there for, to teach all this weird stuff. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh wow, worth it for sure. Lots of, I'm talking about cleaning up. Oh, look, already clean. And then I got a book on lettering, which is kind of a funny story because one of my girls says, I got to work on my lettering so she could add that to her art that she's doing. She's doing her mom's house like in watercolor and she wanted to do the name below there. And she says, I'm going to have to learn how to letter. I said, why don't we just print it out and we'll put it on the light board, which is what we call our window, and trace it. So don't worry about it. So she goes, oh, that should work. And anyway, these are not a, um, hot, uh, you know, a expensive to begin with type of pastel but there's a lot of them so I can show them some fun things they could do with pastels without investing any more of the school's money in that so use mine the ones I have are a little higher quality um but mm, some of them are maybe get rid of the ones that aren't the best quality <laughs> maybe swap out with artist law but anyway that's just a good way to just show them how to use it sometimes it's just worth it for them to see what it is like to use it before they invest in it because they may hate it all right so this is a paint oh chalk marker hmm. Hmm. i don't know enamel gold gold what is it gold metallic gold i just gotta have another chalk marker we've been <laughs> i turned one of our doors into a blackboard i just grabbed some paint some paint brushes because they're always good to have. <sighs> alarm went off so i lost my camera there for a minute this has been going and going and just no, oh, green paint. Kind of, wait, is that? No. Yeah, outdoor, indoor. I could use, not really. It's not the colors I want to use on my pumpkins. Uh, another chalk marker. So I got three chalk markers that, I don't know, may find a use for. But yeah, so now I got some brushes and some pens that I can use at school. I don't have to worry about taking my good stuff and my ink and my chalk. All right, I made a mess, but I'm still not through because this is why I, oh, you know what? I don't want to get the big stuff out of the way. So I did grab this Tiffany style leaded glass. Sorry, loud noises with the paper. Bring it down. So I did grab this. It is, I have one more time. So I grabbed this. It's gorgeous. It does have a crack. It's in one of the side pieces, one of the, um, I don't know. I saw it. I saw it in the store, so I know it does. It is so soft because this is truly leaded glass. So these are really soft and they're bending easily. No, I have nothing to uh, you know, put it on. No, not a thing. 
but I don't, I've got to figure it out. That's $1.55, so it's definitely worth investing in. I'll figure something out if I can just put it somewhere safely for now. Ugh. Yeah, put it on the floor, because that's not safe. We know that. Okay, and then Barbie, the Barbie. I don't think you saw the Barbie. Eh, it's not in the video. Okay. All right, so the Barbie, the crazy Barbie. She is battery operated, unless the batteries have gone dead. They're gone right now, so I can't test her. But yeah, she is hilarious. Look at that. She needs to come out and get a good wash. <laughs> I've got to, I got to check this out. So anyway, that's her lighted skirt. I cannot wait to see if she works out because she's so funny. Oh, so I took the rings, girl. Okay, how does a doll? Okay, my plan. I know her uh, hands chewed on, but the, I think the dress and all is worth it. So that was my goal was just to use the dress and just ditch the doll because she is all messed up in there. Uh, maybe take her head off, sell her head because she is chewed up. But her dress is awesome. Now that feeling that I had to go to Rolling Hills. I love me some Bratz clothes because you can dress your Monster Highs in them. And these are some really good pieces. Now these sleeves, you know Monster has a really, really long sleeve arms, so typically that won't work. So what, what doesn't work, I can sell on eBay. I have so many accessories as it is. This is one of the biggest problems with it. I don't you see that right there was peeling. That leathery stuff will peel off. So, so simple. But it does have a lot of cute accessories in here. This is Barbie. Oh, this is old Barbie. There's no way that is. Yeah, that is a cool Barbie top. I'm pretty sure that's an old, old one. No, it doesn't say Barbie. It would say Barbie, but that looks more like Barbie than it does the girls. Just doesn't look like their style. Uh, oh, a little cute little dress for a doll, and I have the little doll. I have a little doll. I bet this goes on her. Whoa, it's got a name. No, Main China. Not a name. So, that's a sweet little baby doll outfit that I think I have the doll that it goes with. Okay, this is weird. Oh, man. Fucking Luke ruined it again. Ah! Yes, that's destroying this little dress. It just, just got killed. That killed it. This, I don't know what this, oh, this is Barbie-ish. It's too big to be the girl, the brats. I don't think that's brats. That's weird. Hey, wait, 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 uh, Barbie. So, wow. Tell, we need to have a talk about this, this hook and loop issues. I don't even know how this goes on. So this doesn't even attach to itself in the back. That is strange. Well, unless the belt, I'm sorry. Ah! Hook and loop is messed up. All right, so it's some kind of top, and it kind of goes together at the top, like here, but that's it, just at the top, and it's loose in the back, and it's got this completely destroyed fabric. See that stuff? Oh, it just eats it up. So that's Barbie. That's some Barbie clothes. This, based on the colors, just reminds me more of the the um, brat stalls, but it's really big, so I don't know who would wear something that big, unless it's one of the boys, but even that, it's a weird outfit. I don't think it's Barbie. I can't imagine Barbie wearing that. Brats, pillow pillow. Oh, that's so cute. The, wow, that's big old, I don't know who this goes to. It says, says Mattel. That's kind of, I can't imagine. I have the guys. I do have the um, Monster High guys. So maybe one can wear that. I just like these clothes on Monster High because they're more realistic. Versus, you know, make them wear, they have real clothes on. And, and most of them fit. It's, the ones for the taller dolls, like the pants, you had to get the ones that were for the really tall Bratz dolls that came out. Pretty sure that's Barbie. It's kind of thick. Uh, these look bratsy. Yeah, that body. So these might work because they're pretty long. Yeah, see that length? That may work on a on a um, girl. But what happens is, this is they're so low cut. So you get these on, they look so cute as long as they're standing. If they sit down, they get a little problem in the back. Kind of shows some booty. So 
So, but they're cute. They're standing. Uh, Barbie. Uh, oh, wow. These jeans are fun. These are, oh, stop with the hook and loop, man. You're killing me. You will always hear me complain about hook and loop. It just ruins all the other clothing. It really does. Ooh, the sound noise. Pulling it apart. Rip. Okay, I don't even know what that's about. There's got this strange string. Well, it's strange now, that's for sure. I think it tied and it totally destroyed it. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, the top of the little pants. Oh, I wish I had a monster high handy. Because that, see how long these are? I think this is the right length for monster high. Now, their feet do stick out, but with the shoes showing, it's kind of cute. These are really cute pants. So look, check those out. What? That is the one thing about the brats. They do have a lot of detail. And oh, okay, okay. So this explains. It. I have boy shoes, which is something I never get. Boy shoes, and I'm, that looks very much like a Barbie thing. A little pink. So that explains the size. That's so Barbie. That explains the size of the pants. These probably went on the boys. I can't imagine a boy wearing glitter, but let's say these are the boys, and then that kind of explains some of the tops here. It's a little green top. Looks like a boy would wear it. Oh, no, it's the girls. It's got a little figure. Oh. All right, so I'm going to show you this. This is why it looks so cute on me. See how thin they are? I mean, they're thin like... Um, like the Monster High dolls and the Ever After High. I keep saying Monster because it's easier than saying Ever After several times. Anyway, this little outfit right here uh, would probably fit a girl. And this, I bet this tops for a boy. And then he has that and he has that and do, 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 they're a cute little outfit. Oh, wow. So, let's check it out. Another bag. Yeah, I was so, it's like I knew this is what I was supposed to get when I got there. Yeah, I need the clothes. That looks like my alarm keeps going off. Okay, so I threw something down when I was this, when I was getting it untangled because it's still kind of tangled. And it was a cute little top, but it looks like, I don't know who would wear this. It's kind of big. So I'm thinking, I can't imagine a boy wearing this, but I guess it's for one of the guys. Cause see how big it is? Kind of looks like a shirt and a sweater that one of the guys would wear. And it's got a little, Oh, he's got a butterfly on it. I don't think so. But it's made. It's made really well. I'm not saying Barbie stuff's not made well. I'm just saying, oh, there's another one of these tops. Exact same top. I got two of them. That's so bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gives you a better idea. It goes this way, and then it goes over in the back. Maybe a little Barbie handy. Oh, yeah, I do. Wow, look at this. I just happen to have it. Well, she's big, but let's see if it fits her. Looks, ooh, lowered it. That'd be low cut. Yeah, it's not going to fit around her, but that's kind of the way it goes. Hmm. Just needs to be something a little bit thinner. We won't talk about that, will we? Uh, more baby clothes. Baby doll clothes. Those are little. Uh, some kind of crazy hat. Oh, it's... <laughs> No, it's a rag, it's a raghead thing for a guy. Love it. Love that. That's awesome. Like I said, I have the boy uh, Monster Highs. I can wear the, a lot of these clothes. I don't think they can wear the pants that the, that the Bratz boys wear, but yeah, that looks Bratz. It's really it's thin or narrow. I have never had, it's got to be Mattel. I've never had a baby like this. I, oh my goodness, what are you riding a horse? Look at that. <laughs> What is with that baby's legs? Well, oh, I'm assuming this is Mattel. I can't see in the dark. Yeah, so maybe that's Mattel. So I've not had the little babies. I mean, I get a lot of Kellys, but rarely do I find a baby. And what did I find? Two of them. Two babies. Oh, now this one doesn't have the legs. It's, hmm, these look different. Oh, and I see, that's a cute little purse. Dang, brats, they just styling. They got the good stuff. Uh, this is a weird little out fit for maybe Kelly or something. I don't know. I'll have to see if it's I don't think it's got tags in it. Please, please, please let us know. Oh no, it's just gonna be made in China. Made in China. Alright, more little doll clothes. Now here's this doll. 
And she is, um, was she like an original? Is that old Barbie? Like from the old days? Nope. She says made in China. I think they would say something different. So she looks older to me. I got some clothes. So something's bound to fit her. All right. So I got some interesting chairs that's kind of, I don't know. I don't know who they'd go to. Uh, that's somebody's boot. That's like a Ken boot. I uh, don't know. Here's another one of these bridal legged babies. Oh, this is a different baby now. This is a totally different baby. I have three babies, and they're totally different. All right, that's Monster High, I bet. That just looks monster. That's a big old bag, though. Yeah. I mean, it's got chains and purple and black. It's like something Monster High would even carry. I don't even know what this was. I think somebody made it. It's a thing. And there's some really interesting uh, accessories. That's probably Barbie. That's probably Barbie camera. I don't know if you see these phone. Gosh, I can't hold a phone and a camera. Phone feels kind of, oh, nope, there's Barbie. It's Barbie. Another cute little purse. Gotta be Bratz if it looks that cute. I don't know why a little basket. That's interesting. A brush, a little weird brush with very strange, strange bristles to it. A uh, tiny swimsuit, probably Monster High. I mean, I'm sorry, Bratz. Okay, so this is a thing, and it's it's got that, and then you, it's something's going on. Oh, it's got stuff in it. Oh, <laughs> bonus. It's like a drawer, and I guess that thing spins or not. Okay, some Barbie drawer, maybe. Yeah, it's got a top. Oh, it's for the babies. It's got baby clothes. Oh, maybe not. Kind of big. That may be for a baby. I don't know. Can't really tell. And then a cute little bitty top. That's got to be. That looks bratsy. Bratsy, bratsy. Um, that's something for the puppies. A really cool pair of shorts for based on that size. Yeah, it looks a little small for Ken. So I bet that's a brats. And a brat skirt. And another headband. Yeah, and this is just like a regular headband, not like, you know, that kind. Oh, a necklace for, it's a chain. That looks kind of monster eyes, but maybe not. Because I think if it would have been a lock, it would have been like a skeleton lock. So it's probably brats. Uh, bathing suit bottoms that are really small. All right, my line's probably going to go off again because i got to get out of here. Uh, but, hey, you got one more bag. Uh, yeah, cute little green top. Uh, looks boyish. It's about the size, I think, of boy. I can't believe I found all these boy clothes. Monster High guys are going to have some clothes if they can fit. I think their long, bodies are longer, so I bet they're not going to fit unless these shirts are going to work. Some suit. Yeah, that would fit a boy. And maybe Ken. That's pretty big because this is Barbie. So I got some Barbie stuff in here. So yeah, that made it definitely worth going. I was so excited. This looks so 80s. A little metallic top. Yeah. Yeah, that is so Barbie from the 80s. See the little metallic sleeves. And a nice green top looking kind of small. Probably one of, oh yeah, that's, that's. Definitely. I know they don't have tags, but anyway, pretty sure that's Bratz. Uh, this looks ooh, torn. No, it's just got a snap. What in the world? It's got a clear pocket. That looks Barbie. I mean, the quality of Barbie stuff compared to Bratz is just sad because Bratz really makes these adorable little. I'm saying this is like, look at that little purse. Look at all the details in this purse. I'm telling you, another boy jacket shirt. Side of all of my boy clothes. I guess these are some, well, maybe boy pants. Oh, it's for, it's a life jacket for, it's got a name. Barbie. It's a Barbie life jacket. I don't think, no, I don't think it's a life jacket. I think it's just a, well, probably. Pretty sure it goes this way because that says Barbie. Um, yeah, probably. Or a vest because she's out, you know. Oh, I've got clothes for a doll. 
I got some baby clothes. I should put one of those babies. Jeans. Jeans. Ah, cutest pair of jeans. Look at that little cutouts. Adorableness. Now, I know these fit uh, because I put these on Monster High before. As I have one. Barbie. Uh, real. Oh, my gosh. Check the cuteness of this purse. So, so I like to use these with Monster High. I mean, that all the accessories are just more realistic. And, yeah. No, I'm, I'm ones I repaint. I've only got two that I've repainted. That's small, so... Probably. This is, oh, that's kind of, I think that's Barbie. Here's another little skirt. And more jeans. They're stuck. Something else. What is in the, oh, the jeans have like underwear in them. Why do you have underwear? That's weird. What? What's going on here? I don't know. Oh, they're so cute. They got holes in the knees. Like kind of ragged looking. Ah. Oh. I'm me in the hook and loop again. This is a very cheap dress. Probably one on a very cheap doll. Barbie style doll. It's one of those. Really cheesy. Uh, cute purse for... Oh, I don't know what's on there. But I'm sure that's Bratz. That just looks like their stuff. I know. We're in a hurry because it's getting long. And another cute top. That probably fits. That looks... See, now this looks Barbie by color. But, yeah, by the size, that's got to be Barbie. But this, it was made pretty. That was actually made well. So for this part, a teeny tiny top. We know who that goes to. That's definitely a um, Bratz. So there's all the, this is, oh, wow, fancy Barbie swimsuit. Well, check that out, man. It's got this little, oh, that's like pageant bathing suit kind of thing. Okay, so that was it. Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Got some, I did the orange thing. No, this is a different orange thing. Top, Barbie. Uh, pink thing, probably looks like Bratz. Uh, top, ooh, what is this? Actually, I don't know. Oh, it's a cute little top. Oh, it's just got a little sweet little sleeves. Okay, <laughs> I can't get it straightened out. You need the doll. So there's a cute little top. The funny thing is, I have some Bratz dolls. Oh my goodness, some more stuff. I need one hose. And a weird Barbie-ish dress. That's creepy. That does not look like some Barbie would wear. What in the world is this outfit? I don't know. Some weird dress. That's Barbie size. And this really cute sweater that looks tiny. So I think this is um, Bratz. And what's so cute? Well, because a lot of Bratz are cut off. Boy, does that monster high tummy show. <laughs> but they got such a cute tummy. So, yes, that's a good thing. Okay, well, so, last thing. I think I got a, a pretty good arrangement of boy clothes in here. So, if I need to find rehome some boy clothes, it's just a little skinny shirt. Okay. Anyway, <gasps> getting back to all that. <sighs> yeah, I'm so excited about all my clothes, my little doll clothes that I got. That's some fun stuff. I'm really happy about getting a few art supplies. Oh, what missed that. That's a cute purse. Look at that. That one is so cute. Look, it's like a saddle. Is Western. Sorry, it was just down here in the bottom. So I'm excited about my art supplies. I can take to school and the cute little Santa stuff. But uh, yeah, that stained glass thing is amazing. And that crazy Barbie skirt that lights up, dress that lights up. Looks like I have another one that, you know, you can put it on any Barbie. I think. I haven't taken her apart to see. Hopefully you can because her arms are gnarly. Uh, what else? Um, yeah. Maybe toys that I don't need. So anyway, thanks for watching. I know it's a crazy video, but you know, what do you do? It's one of those days. So thank you. But don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, please. And you know, share it with some of your friends. They may like to watch it too. Bye-bye. <laughs>